The Dandora dump site is the largest open-air landfill in Africa. It is located in Nairobi, Kenya, in the middle of the metropolis. Every day, 2,000 tons of waste from the entire city are dumped there. Approaching the dump site, the sight that unfolds is staggering. Piles of waste loom on the horizon, resembling hills of garbage. Within the dump site is a network of roads filled with trucks carrying loads of new waste, adding to its size. Along these roads, one can also find thousands of people who live on the edge of the landfill, populating it every day. The Dandora landfill has existed for so long that it has created an entire ecosystem, with dogs and pigs rooting around in the dirt, large scavenger birds rummaging through the garbage, and a multitude of human figures recycling salvageable waste. Dandora is an unsustainable environmental threat. The dioxins from burning plastic materials pollute the air, as well as the groundwater. Adjacent to the Dandora dump site are large slums, called Korogocho and Dandora, from which the dump site takes its name. These are enormous shanty towns where hundreds and thousands of people live. One might think that anyone would want to escape such a place, but unfortunately, this is not possible for these residents. The inhabitants of the slums often come from rural Kenya in search of employment opportunities, but end up living in cramped shacks only a few square meters large, without running water or electricity. They are forced to work sporadic and poorly paid jobs, living in extreme poverty. For these communities, the dump site represents a landmark and a source of economic sustainability. Every day, around 10,000 people enter the dump site to collect, separate, and wash waste, especially glass and plastic, for a few cents a day. A dysfunctional waste cycle that is managed by organized crime. It is an extremely dangerous job that exposes individuals to infections and respiratory illnesses, providing them with just enough to survive. Out of these 10,000 people, more than half are children. These children are deprived of education and forced into labor that ruins their health and endangers their lives. The slum communities are so dependent on landfill labor that they will strongly oppose proposals for cleanup made periodically by the government. This scenario is not unique but indicative of a larger problem represented by extreme poverty that affects millions of people around the continent. The dump site and slums are forgotten places where millions of people live, struggling every day to survive. Yet, this is a reality where we work every day, thanks to our orphanage and our schools, where more than 3,000 children study every day. We work in the dump site to help the most vulnerable children, removing them from the landfill and from the dangers of child labor.